Step 1. Remove pedals using a pedal wrench. Step 2. Remove crank arm bolts using an 8mm Allen wrench. Step 3. Remove crank arm using appropriate crank arm tool for your bike. Repeat step to remove drive side crank arm. Step 4. Remove your bicycle's chain. Be careful not to push the pin completely out to the other side. Step 5. If applicable, remove your bike's front derailleur. Step 6. Remove your bike's bottom bracket assembly. Use a bottom bracket removal tool. Once completed, remove the bottom bracket from the other side of your bike. Step 7. If you have mechanical brakes, remove your front brake cable from the brake assembly. Step 8. Remove the grip, shift, and brake assembly from your handlebars. If you are installing brake sensors, only remove front shift assembly. Now that you've completed removing your old bicycle parts, it's time to start installing your buffing motor. Step 1. Slide your buffing motor assembly into your empty bottom bracket shell with the buffing logo on the left hand side of the bike. Step 2. Secure the motor with a Y-shaped motor mount bracket on the left hand side of the bike. Make sure that the raised ridges on the bracket face the bicycle. Install this part over the top exposed threads. Step 3. Install M6 bolts using 5mm Allen wrench. Do not completely tighten these bolts. Step 4. Install gray lock nut with flat side facing the bike on exposed threads. Make sure the arrow is facing clockwise. Step 5. Tighten the M6 bolts using your 5mm Allen wrench. Step 6. Install and tighten the outer black M33 lock nut. Step 7. Assemble the speed sensor into the speed sensor mount. Step 8. Attach the speed sensor inside the chainstay by removing the adhesive plastic on the back of the speed sensor.
Step 9. Install the speed sensor magnet onto the spoke. The smooth side should face the speed sensor. Step 10. Align the magnet with the speed sensor. The magnet should be within 1 to 2 millimeters of the speed sensor. Step 11. After speed sensor and magnet have been properly aligned, install and screw the speed sensor onto the spoke. Placing zip ties through the speed sensor assembly, make sure it is fixed securely to your bike's frame. Step 13. Attach the speed sensor to the speedometer cable coming from the motor. Tighten plastic nut once connected. Step 14. Connect wiring harness into motor assembly. Line up the arrows on the plugs and the pins in the connections before connecting. Step 15. Install the LCD display to your handlebars. Once the display has been installed on your handlebar, slip the grommets in between in order to secure. Step 16. Slide the control pad onto the handlebar. Secure with the supplied nut and bolts. Step 17. Slide the brake lever onto the handlebar. Push it all the way up against the control pad and tighten with a 5mm Allen wrench. Step 18. Reinstall your brake cable into the brake lever assembly. Step 19. Install the throttle. Slide it onto the handlebar and lock it into place with an Allen wrench. Step 20. Plug together the wiring harness. Connect throttle, LCD, and brake cables into the wiring harness. Plugs are color coordinated, so be sure to line up the arrows and pins to connect properly. Step 21. Reinstall the cable into the brake assembly. Step 22. Install the chain ring using five M5 bolts. Line it up with the holes in the motor Put all five bolts in and then tighten the bolts. Step 23. Install the chain guard using the supplied five screws. Step 24. Install the crank arms. Make sure to make the bolts tight. Repeat the process on the other side. Step 25. Reinstall your pedals. Be sure to use the correct pedal on each of the sides. Tighten with forward rotation. Step 26. Reinstall the chain using the chain tool or quick links. Battery installation. Step 1. If you have an existing water bottle mount on your bike, Start by removing this from your bike now. Step 2. Where your water bottle mount was, now install your battery mount using the water bottle bolts.
Step 3. Plug the battery mount into the motor leads. Step 4. Now complete your bike setup by sliding the battery onto the mount. Make sure to lock your battery into place. You've now completed your Buffang mid-drive motor kit. Go out and enjoy the ride.